The UNI Panthers earned the 17-3 win over San Diego in the first round of the FCS playoffs. The Panthers played at home as they got to host San Diego and joined with UNI football coach Mark Farley, the active career coaching uh, playoff victories uh, leader. Coach, uh, add another one to that list and uh, a good effort out of your football team, but uh, really, specifically, the defense was really shining bright on Saturday. Well, I thought the defense was exceptional. Very disciplined, very poised and uh, they sustain it the whole football game. You were facing the top offense in all of FCS football. What did you like about uh, the game plan and just how the team was, uh, was putting it in that week prior to that round one win? Well, I thought the plan was good. I thought the execution was great. Uh, the, the players really, uh, really took it personal of the type of offense they're playing that they were ranked number one in FCS football, and they knew they had their job cut out. What I was very pleased with is the sustainability to do that in the situation that we're in, to do it for four quarters and to do it multiple times under a very stressful situation. The Panthers allowed just three points in the Panthers uh, playoff game. That's the lowest total ever in UNI playoff history, which is a very long history. Uh, but this defense is on quite a stretch, especially this entire second half of the season. Well, they're playing well, they're playing together. Uh, you know, we have, we have the ability to bounce back and forth between a couple packages, but it takes uh, a great intelligence, it takes preparation, it takes, it takes a good plan, but uh, ultimately it's the players making plays and, and uh, execute. Back-to-back -back weeks for your defense to score a touchdown. It was Bronte Wells out of his defensive lineman position, dropped back into coverage, found a pick six, and able to put points on the board on San Diego's first offensive possession. I thought that was a big play at the time because it was. It was their first drive. It was, what are they going to be? We're kind of feeling each other out to see what really was on the football field. And then I think we surprised him when Bronte dropped, and uh, he made a great play. Coach, four turnovers in that football game, uh, a couple more interceptions down the stretch, and then a fumble return uh, down in the fourth quarter. Uh, your defense creating turnovers has been so key all year long, and uh, the guys just continue to have a, a great nose and knack for, for getting the football back. Well, to, to get the football, you have to get to the football, and that's what we're doing right now. We're running to the football, uh, we're active, and when we're active, good things are happening. Uh, allowing just three points to San Diego. What did you like about that defense? Just continuing to lock down, even in the third and fourth quarters, uh, like you said, going for that football and coming away with turnovers. Well, the big thing was, is they were also a trickery type school. And, you know, they had multiple uh, formations, but they had multiple trick plays. And I think they tried every one in the fourth quarter. And that's where I go back to the discipline. Everybody was supposed to do their job. Somebody had to make the tackle, but somebody had to hold coverage. And uh, we were holding coverage and we were disciplined and, and that made the difference. Your defensive line played exceptional. Uh, in fact, maybe your entire front seven, your defensive line and your linebackers. Three sacks on the day, but their quarterback under constant pressure. And it seemed like everybody in that front seven had some kind of tackle for a loss or a sack in that game. Which was big because they only had 10 sacks coming into the game on the whole season. And I think we got three on that particular day. So anytime you get sacks, anytime you get tackled for a loss, that next down distance is a long yardage one. So you really become a very good defense when you're sitting you know, third and long. We'll be talking offense coming up in just a little bit, but uh, Coach, the, the defense just seems to go out and answer the bell every single time. Uh, they seem to be healthy. What do you like about having a defense that's playing so strong and you're right in the middle of that playoff run? Well, what's good about it is you know, when you go to the sidelines, you can make adjustments. You can look somebody in the eye verbally. You can see what's going on verbally. You can communicate what we need to change or what's going good, what needs to be corrected, and we can get some things done very quickly. The Panthers take on South Dakota State coming up at 1 o'clock uh, in Brookings, South Dakota. It is round two of the FCS playoffs as we'll have more with Coach Farley coming up. And right after this commercial break, we'll take a look at the Missouri Valley Football Conference All-Conference honorees for the UNI Panthers. <laughs> 